Welcome back. This is me, the one, the only, pseudonymous BN, and I wanted to show you guys something today, because I made a discovery. Something came back from my past to haunt me, maybe, so to speak, and I realized it had a lot to do with Super Monkey Ball, now that I'm looking at it in an all new light today, in this age of Super Monkey Ball hacking, where anything seems possible, the future seems bright, well now it seems a little less bright, because I discovered a tool that could change everything. I'm not talking about a good way either. So everyone likes to rag on me for using Wings 3D. This is like your standard tool set for making Monkey Ball levels. It's like the equivalent of MS Paint, maybe. It's simple. It's janky, I've said it before, it's stupid, but I use it, and I like it, it's fine. But everyone in the community thinks it's the worst thing on the planet. It's like the equivalent of ZSNES. Like if anyone's ever played like Super Mario World or any of those SNES games that people like to mod, the emulator everyone uses is ZSNES and everyone likes to rag on it. I used it too back in the day, mind you. But Wings 3D seems to be the equivalent. Well today, I'm going to show you something that makes Wings 3D look like the most advanced set of software that you can possibly find. Prepare for the ultimate meme. Say hello to Tinkercad. I found this program online many years ago. It was actually part of a school course back when I was in high school, when I was taking a fucking algebra class. My teacher told me to use this because 3D printing was the new big thing back then. And uh, I got this account, I started making stuff, and I used a school 3D printer to print out these things that I made with Tinkercad. This is like the lamest software I can possibly imagine that someone could use to make something in 3D. But it was part of the course, it was what I was told to use. And now I realize it has an output for an OBJ, which is the same file that Super Monkey Ball uses to encode into an LZ, which is the pretty much the, the standard file format for a stage in Super Monkey Ball. And it's like it was made for Super Monkey Ball, but no one has talked about this yet. No one has used it, which is a good thing, I might add, because this, as I said before, is the worst imaginable software to make a level with. It's 105% in a browser. Yes, 105%. You don't download anything. You don't use any kind of professional tools. You just drag shapes like frickin' kitty building blocks and you build your level with it. And today I'm gonna show you the possibilities. I'm gonna make a level in Tinkercad just to show you the memes that happen. And you see the best thing about it is it names your level for you. Look at this. This is Ingenious Memu. I didn't come up with that name. Tinkercad just assigned the name to this blank space that I'm now working with. And I think, just to honor that, I'm not gonna change it. This is gonna be the name of my level. So let's start building this bright red block. I'm trying to think if this has any advantages at all over wings. I don't think it does. But maybe if like anything you could say, it does snap to a grid. People complain about that a lot with wings, like everything has to be so precise because you can't snap to anything. But look at this. The possibilities are just endless. I'm still so not used to working with this program because uh, it seems like everything you do with wings is like reversed here. Also this cylinder is high poly as hell. That's the one thing about this program too. It was not made for inserting anything into an old GameCube game. I'll tell you that. Look at your options you have for these shapes. Like, you don't get any creativity control at all. You just use these shapes. You can stretch them out. You can maybe, like, change a few. You can put a hole in them. You can change another shape into a hole and then use it to negate out some other space from an object. Like, I'm going to do it here with the cylinders just to show you. Like, you can put these two together, group them, and then it turns into a... Like, if this is going to work, yeah. It just ate a hole out of that block. That's the only way you can make any kind of custom shape in here. So I'm just going to do that. I'm going to leave this change. You know what I'm going to make? I make this into like a cheese block. Because this program is literal cheese. This is a dick cheese software. I'm just going to get some holes. And look, you can actually copy and paste in this program. Wings doesn't let you do that. This is like some real high grade stuff here we're working with. So I'm going to get all these holes. Imagine how high poly this is going to be. 
It's from all these really high poly cylinders. Oh, I didn't want all those to be holes. See, this software is jank. This is what I'm talking about. You can't control click anything. It takes like some really serious finagling to select things multiple, multiply. Did I just create an adverb there? But here we go, prepare for the memes. Oh, you can't do that in Wings 3D, can you? Look at this. This is my level. It's brilliant. I'm gonna put a round roof. They call it a round roof. They don't call it a half cylinder or whatever you would technically call that shape. It's a round roof. I'm gonna stretch this out. Again, look at the high poly. I don't know if you can tell right here, but all these all these polygons, this is gonna create. Like you really have to be careful when you're making a level in this thing. Cause uh Sometimes it's just not going to work out. You may create, you might create something that's just uh, in uninsertable. Let's eat a hole out of this. We're going to cut off the top so it has like a surface you can actually roll on. My pet peeve in Super Monkey Ball 2 was that so many stages had round surfaces and you're playing as a character in a round ball. That does not work. Like, like and like do not attract. Roundness and roundness do not equal playability. And yet, almost every single master stage had some round surface you roll over. But that was so many rages in my childhood of Super Monkey Ball 2. Okay. I guess we also kind of reduced the poly count here. What other shapes does this give us to work with? Look, you get three torus options. I'm just going to zoom in on these real quick so you can see with my uh, russet potato camcorder here. Like, you don't get the choice to stretch out your torus to whatever width you need. You just get three options. You get like the thin bike tire and the fat jelly donut. <laughs> like again, this offers no creative control. You're just working with building blocks. That's why this software is so legendary. They call this a tube. I guess it becomes a tube if you stretch it out like this. Let's uh, let's get a thin tube so you can like, go down through it. That's what I want to do. Oh my god, this is going to be so high poly. Like, the fun part of this video is going to be looking at the thing when we finally get it into wings. Because yes, we're still going to need to use wings. You can't UV map in this program, surprisingly enough. But we're going to look at it, and we're going to see how many polygons we really created. What kind of monster we birthed with this genius program. So there's the tube. You need, you need to go down the tube, I guess. Uh, what do we start on? hexagonal prism. I like hexagonal prisms. I use them a lot in my normal levels. I've been noticing that lately. I have a fascination with hexagonal prisms. Prisms, that's fun to say. Okay. So there's your starting platform. You go down the tube. It kind of looks like a basketball hoop. Like maybe a really uh, deformed basketball hoop. Actually, no, it does not look like that at all. And then you go down on this platform. There needs to be some obstacle here. What's a good obstacle we can use here? Hexagonal prisms? No. I'm not using them again. Let's put... They call this a roof. Like you got the round roof, and then you got the OG roof. We're gonna put a roof in the way. I don't know why. Just the word roof now makes me think of these guys that I saw in my neighborhood. They were just bouncing on top of my neighbor's roof, all clothed in black, like they had balaclavas on. They looked like ninjas and they were just bouncing on somebody's roof. I think they were doing roof work. Some of them had tools, but they were just like jumping around like fucking Naruto characters. I didn't know you could hire roof ninjas. I think we need more cheese. We're just gonna make this a cheese themed level because Super Monkey Ball doesn't have enough of those. Like this is gonna be another cheese block. You know what might be cool? If we like turned a pyramid upside down. Look at this rotation by the way. You get this really weird rotation tool. Like, the further out you move your mouse, the more fine-tuned your rotation becomes. And it gives you the precise degrees that you're using. Like, it's really hard to turn it to 100. 180 there. Let's do pyramid holes. That's my idea. It's gonna be, like, really weird-looking hole. I'm gonna copy and paste this. Tinkercad. You brilliant bastard, you. You glorious freak of nature. Look what you've created. 
I just hope this is insertable. I really hope it is. I want to play this so badly. If it is insertable, you can trust that this will be released to the world. If this turns out to actually fit into Super Monkey Ball, then I guarantee you there will be a download link in the description. I will let you play this. Let's like find an interesting way to cut off a hole from the side. I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna like stretch it. Oh no, I didn't mean to move that. Yeah, this lets you control Z. For a second I thought this did not let you control Z. I would not have been surprised one little diddly bit. Make that a hole. And now we're gonna get all this. No, I don't want the cheese, the other cheese. Select all this. I'm gonna group it together and look what we've created. What's happening? Are there like holes countering each other? Is this ungroupable? Oh, there it goes. You cannot do that in Wings 3D. This program is godly. Godly! Do we need another round roof? Something's telling me it's time for another round roof. We're gonna stretch this down. It's just kind of amazing to think that I'm making this level in my browser. I didn't download any software. Like, this is the ultimate imbecile software, I think. It's not even software. Like, if you don't even know how to unzip a RAR, or like, install a program onto your computer, this is how you would make your levels. Alright, this is gonna be like, the last obstacle. I'm gonna put this weird hole in here. What should I call this level? Tripophobia? Don't Google that. Like, if you've never heard that word, don't Google it. And the goal's gonna be on this platform. Right here. I think. I think this is gonna be the end of our level. Look at this. Look at this godly stuff. Like, to zoom in on something, you have to click this little box out in the corner of the screen. There's no keyboard shortcut for that. Like, did they honestly think tech-savvy people would be using this software? Who needs keyboard shortcuts? The other funny thing you can do in this program is you can take a ruler and you can put it somewhere and you can measure stuff. Like, if you want your level to be the exact size that you, you need for whatever, I guess if you actually want to 3D print this, you might need that. But anyway, here we have it. A masterpiece. Do we need some way to get from that cheese block to that cheese block? I keep pressing A because I want to zoom in on stuff. That's how you do that in wings. But no, not here. I'm gonna use a pyramid as a bridge. Because why not? Because I can. Because no one's stopping me. Don't you try to bring logic into this. This is Tinkercad, bitch. This is Tinkercad. I think they call it Tinkercad, because if you use it, you're a cad. It's like an old British insult. Alright. Is this meme complete? I wish I could just get these colors and use them as textures and wings, so the final level really looks like this building block bullshit. I think that would complete the meme, but unfortunately, no. We're gonna have to put real textures on this. But it's done. So you know what it's time for? So here's the part where I was saying this was like made for Super Monkey Ball. You can save it, and the options you get here, look at this, this just proves that this program is a meme. Look at this right here, look at this option. Download for Minecraft. You can get this made into Minecraft blocks? How does that even work? God, I have not played Minecraft since I was in like 8th grade. Jesus, that's a long time ago. But what we want to do here, we want to download this for 3D printing, and here it gives you some more options. Look at this. You'll notice the OBJ file. This is where I said this was made for Monkey Ball, but you know what the deal is? This thing gives you like a broken, faulty OBJ. I don't know what they programmed into this, but the OBJ, like when I tried to put it in Wings, Wings crashed. Like the jank cannot handle the super jank. I think that's what I said when I tried to do this first of all. It's like this is a format that's so so out there. This program is just so bad that even Wings, the grand idiot of all 3D modeling programs, is like, no, this is too stupid for me. I'm not taking it. So you want the STL. This is the best you can do. 
here it is. Ingenious Maimu. I forgot we were calling it that. That's the name of this program. I mean, this level. I can only imagine a program called Ingenious Maimu. Putting it in here. And now it's time for the transition into Wings. This is the moment of truth. Because Wings will let you import an STL. I was kind of worried when I first tried this that uh, there would be no way to get this into Wings because the OBJ just made it crash. But the STL works. There's nothing wrong with that. And look, here it is. Pre-triangulated and everything. Oh my god. Look at this mess of polygons. This is so many polys. How many is this going to be? So first of all, first of all, we're going to take this. We're going to rotate it. Because they put it sideways. I don't know why they did that. We're going to scale it down to a, a playable size. I think one monkey ball is the size of one checker in this program. Like one little grid square. Another thing I notice about Tinkercad is the way it triangulates. It's just so weird. Like, uh, even if you have a normal object like this, you'd think that would be four triangles, but they put extra ones in here. Like, why? There's another example. This is just a square. Look at this triangle right here. What's the purpose of this? It looks like a line, but it's a tiny triangle. Oh my god. This program really is a meme. This is a joke. But now here we go. Here's what you've all been waiting for. 1,198 faces. That's surprisingly workable. I think that would work. I think I could insert that. I was expecting it to be like 5,000. Just looking at this hot mess does not make me think there would ever be an insertable amount of faces in this great fuck up of a level made with the worst program I can fathom. But you know what it's time for now. Now it's time to texture it. So I will get back to you on that. I will let you know when this is a textured and playable level. And then you can experience the glory that is. Ingenious Maimu. Oh, and the rule of Tinkercad, if I haven't reiterated this enough already, is that when you make a stage with this program, you honor the name. You don't make a new name for it. It gives you a name, and that's the name you choose. Like, uh, I made another stage in this a little earlier, when I first discovered you could. And it became called the Dazzling Densor Garris. Here's the last fork I made. I feel like I just need to show this off. This one was more like a legit level. I think I actually tried with this one. But the program is just so, so awful that it, it does not look anything like the normal stages I make. Like this looks like one of those really, really, really second rate. You know what this looks like? This stage looks like one of those stupid-ass levels you can make in banana splits with a photo. This is what Tinkercad levels end up looking like. So, the question remains. I'm just gonna leave this up to the comments because I want to know the detail. Like, if the three gods of jank battle it out, those being Wings 3D, Tinkercad, and the banana splits photo level creator, which would win? I want to hear what you guys think about this. Which creates the worst levels? Well, pseudonymous be in out. I'll get back to you, and I will have this level ready to play. Goodbye. Ingenious Maimu.